Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am back for another one and I can't wait to share and show you the things that I found over the last few so I do want to dive right on in and get started. I'm super pumped about it. So now I found this really cool stuff in the cosmetics section that I've never seen before and I wanted to give it a try try. So this is from Sassy and Chic. This is two pieces and this is a brow grooming kit. And then on the back, we'll tell you exactly what's inside of here. So this is an eyebrow shaper, which is really, really great and necessary. That little device right there does have a little cover on it, which is important because that could be sharp and cut somebody. So just in case your little people play inside of your cosmetic bags and stuff, just always make sure if you pick this up that the cover is on it because we don't want anybody to get hurt and then it will help you shape your eyebrows. And then right here, this is a mascara wand. So just in case you need an extra one, I did grab this package and I will use both of those things. And I'm very happy to discover something brand new at Sassy and Chic and be able to shape my eyebrows nice. So I picked that up. Then I found this and I thought that this was such a cool little gadget. This is Sassy and Chic and this is an eye shadow brush. I've never seen anything like that before. The bristles look very nice and I like the long extension of the little handle because sometimes using those little applicators, they get lost in my fingers and they go flying. So that makes it kind of difficult when I'm putting on eyeshadow. And this has a longer extension just so that I can swipe right over my eyelid. So hopefully that will work just as well as I think it will and I can't wait to use it so I picked it up then I have to tell you I love an uh, lip crayon I love it probably more than anything else that I could put on my lips for a lip stain and this is from LA colors and this color is called so snatched which I think that the name of that is fantastic this is a twist and apply so this is a beautiful color I absolutely love the color of it so pretty but they did have so many other colors to choose from as well that one just definitely tickled my fancy so I picked it up then right here look at this jazzy one this is a velvet lip mousse mousse and it's called silky and the color of it is just a beautiful gorgeous pink that is shimmery and shiny looking and I can't wait to feel the mousse on my lips as well. So LA Colors put out a bunch of brand new stuff that I can't wait to give it a shot. Now I found this and I initially thought that this was a lip um, a lip liner, but it's not. I realized afterwards that this is an eyeliner. Now, do you think I can use it as a lip liner? Because I really like the color of it. This is um, called Romance. And the shade of it, I thought was a beautiful lip liner to go with any of the pinks that I picked out for my lips. So I'm going to see what you guys say and then make my own judgment of whether I'm going to line my lips with it or give a pink eyeliner a try, which I don't know how that's going to look. Now this glides on smooth, it says. So I thought that that was nice. And either way, it's going to be used is all I'm saying. <laughs> now I did already open this because, you know, some things that come in these packages, I can never get out without using my teeth. And I didn't want my mom to yell at me on another video for using my teeth to open a plastic package. <laughs> so there is this little package right here from um, L'Oreal Paris. I'm going to take it out really quick. And this is so beautiful. This is this says on on it, this says worth it and that beautiful gold heart. So the cover everything about this is just really attractive and pretty and I love the lip stain color of it now this is a matte I don't know what just went crash bang boom out there but something did um this looks like it would be a matte but it does not specify on it that it is a matte if I find that it's a different type of texture I will correct it in the next video but I love the shade of it so I can't wait to try that on and hopefully it will go on really nicely. I found these two cosmetic little cases and I thought that they were divine. I also thought that they would be cute for gifting reasons if you're going to pick up some cosmetics or 
got little brushes just like it shows you inside of the packaging to put inside of these this is selfie preparation kit and i thought that that is so cute this is a nice texture to this little vinyl it's very soft and like leathery feeling and i love the blue i also love the mesh part so that you can see what is in the case and the little zipper that kind of rounds off so really really beautiful and cute and it's from sassy and chic as well then I also picked up this one that says wake up and makeup and I thought that, that was great and I love absolutely love the lavender color. I thought it was gorgeous. They did have another color to these and it said the same thing as the blue one did but I didn't pick it up because I really enjoyed the color of the blue and the purple. So I grabbed these. I love the sayings on them and cute adorable special cases for sure. So there is that. Now, okie dokie then. We are going to keep moving and grooving because I have so many things. I picked up these tea lights right here and I am not mad about it. The scent of these is so strong. I can't even believe that it's the Luminescence brand right here. So this is Pear Nutmeg and there's six scented tea light um, tea candles in here is that's what they say. So in in my little tea light votive holders, whatever you want to call them, light those up. It will be such a nice scent being thrown and I cannot, I can just not absolutely wait to burn these. So I picked that one up right there. Then I also grabbed this one, which is a bourbon barrel pumpkin. Who has ever heard of bourbon barrel pumpkin before? I've never heard of that combination, but the scent of it is very strong in all of these packages. So I'm super duper thrilled to um, put that one on as well. Then this one is golden apple, uh, golden apple cider. So again, a great scent. I had to pick up all four. I found a brand new box of these. So I picked up every single one that I could find that was different. And then this one is gingerbread frosting. Yum. That sounds delightful. And to smell the warm uh, scent of it throughout your house and entryway in your bathroom. That is just very holiday and nice. So I picked those up. Now I found, I found two scents that I've never discovered before in this brand right here. I never say the brand of this because I know I'm not going to pronounce it correctly, but I pick these up when I find brand new things that I'd want to sniff. So this is a uh, salted caramel latte scented. Now with these, these are twist up. You just have to take the wrapping off and then these will tr uh, twist off not off, but they twist up. And then inside there is a gel like type of consistency that holds the fragrance inside of it. I tuck these into the little corner of like my bathroom, my bedroom, and they do throw a good scent around my spaces. So I grabbed it and I can't wait to situate it. Then this one right here is pumpkin spice. So I love it. I think it's fantastic. And I'm happy that I got to grab those. So I did. Now, okie dokie then, check these out. These bandage boxes had me so thrilled um, for gifting reasons. You know, I know so many kids that like to just play with band-aids like I used to when I was little. Pretend you have little boo-boos and you need band-aids on your knees and your legs and your elbows and your arms and your hands and your face and all that stuff. So these would be cute for play and also for necessary boo-boos. So uh, this is by Bio Swiss. I've never heard of the brand before. This is pineapple bandages, okay? They're sterile adhesive bandages, and there's 21 in each one of the boxes that I'm about to show you. So then on the back, we'll show you the actual size of the bandages. And then on the other side, it will show you what the bandage may look like inside. So I picked up the pineapple one. Again, I grabbed every single one that I found. This one is the Baby Dino bandage and there's um, the same amount as I told you that's the actual size of the bandage on the back and then it will show you on the side the bandage the bandages that come inside of it and what they look like 
Are you seeing it? I hope you are. Those are so sweet. Then these I thought would be really, really cool and cute for like the month of October. For Halloween, the kids are outside. They're jumping in the leaves. There's lots of play. Trick or treat night. They actually could fall down, get a boo-boo, and you might need a bandage. So these would be so happy for the kids to put on, and I think it would make them feel a lot better pretty quickly if they had those cute bandages on them. Then we have the fancy dancy unicorn right here. And this one, they're all sterile bandages, by the way. There is the actual size on the back. And then right here are all of the really cute unicorn shaped bandages inside of it as well. Now, did I show you, show you the monster one? So that's the actual size on that one too. So cute. And then we have the llama, the cute little llama. And that's a good size right there. So, and there's the llamas that come inside of the box. Now, for all of us that found the tins with the, like, the little kit of bandages and sterile uh, little things inside of the little kits that came out in the bandage section over, like, the last couple of months, those would be nice for, like, refillable bandages for those little tins. So, I thought that that was Jazzy Fresh, and I'm happy to have discovered the whole pile of those. Now, I did find this... Crayola brand glitter sidewalk chalk and I love it. I cannot believe that they have glitter sidewalk chalk. So for gifting, for me for next summer, <laughs> whatever it's going to be used for, it's going to come in handy. So five chalk sticks inside of here and they're shimmery in the sun. Can we honestly believe? I think that this is so beautiful. I'll write my family love notes every time they pull into the driveway with my glittery chalk. <laughs> So I thought that that was marvelous too. Okay, so I found earmuffs and I am super duper excited and happy about it because they had so many great new choices to choose from and these two were certainly my favorite. And I can tell you that they fit. They fit and they are so cute and I love them. And they just did muffle out a great deal of noise. Now, I can wear this to the Santa Parade. We live in the city right off of the river and the parade kind of goes through our whole main street of town. And it's so cold out during the Santa Parade. So these would definitely help my ears and muffle that breeze in the cold. They're so soft, squishy, and there's plenty of warmth inside of those. So I picked that one up and the little kitty the little cute pinky peach colored kitty I love the sweet little face on them too so grab those and they had another two choices but those two were certainly my favorite now okay I found some more mommy and pet socks but it's not the Marilyn Monroe brand and I was very confused because I'm like they have more options and other um like and other styles and brands this is called chatties and this is the matching sock set for pet and owner for small pups adult socks fit most feet is what it says and i loved the designs on these i definitely did the butterflies with the little daisies the cute little pet booties right up there with the grippies on the bottom these are so so gorgeous for 125 to be able to pick up so i scooped them right up and i know plenty of people that love their little pets like there are babies because that's how much I loved my little precious angel dog daughter that was my baby girl for sure um and these are such sweet gifts to give away now this one is so much fun I love that colorful pastel cheetah print how fun super cool and cute is that and then there are the little booties for the pets so I grabbed it now I did find some new fun Snugadoo socks and these are kind of like the uh, socks but they're they almost go on like a slipper and then they have the great grippies on the back and I just absolutely did love the fun beautiful colors threaded throughout this and they're warm cozy and so soft and these will be really good for me to come home to put these on my feet after you know Monday's procedure is done and over with and then I come home to recover so I picked those up I do wish that they would come out with like guys fuzzy socks because they always have so many great girls and then they have wonderful dress socks for men and sports socks and stuff like that but I want the guys tootsies to be cozy 
cozy and warm too. And I would love a good, strong men's cozy stocking to grab them. So DT, hello, where are those guy socks? <laughs> um, now, anywho, I did find some more PJs and I had to pick up a couple of more sets of different designs that I had never discovered before. So I picked up all three pieces because the wonderful woman, the stock manager that was putting them out said, you know, all three of these would be really nice together so that you have a pants and a short option for this top. So these are all a 3T and um, these are all a 2T, uh, excuse me, this is PJ and me brand and this is a just a sweet cute adorable little style with the doggy and the cute little astronaut outfit in the galaxy and it says out of this world they're soft cute pajamas and so much fun for like a Christmas Eve pajama set if you wanted to then here are the pants right here that went with it just sold separately so I paid $3.75 for this whole set of pajamas that I'm about to show you so I love them and the bottom they're tapered so that they, you know, they kind of like, you know, they just grab around the ankles. So I picked those up to match the top. And then these are the shorts. So a cute little option for a little short set just in case it's a little warm out where you live. So I grabbed that. And then this one is a PJ that is like a little nightgown and it's a 3T. And I love the rainbows and the candies all over it. It's silky, smooth, and nice. And this one, I think, yes, this one is a 3T from the PJ and me. And it's so pretty, so pretty and cute. And that would be like a fun pajama for like Halloween night or something, you know, right before you go trick or treating the next day, you know, to put on your cute little, your cute little candy pajamas or something like that. So I thought that that was awesome. Now I'm going to show you these two things because I picked them up to kind of go together. I love the witch boot with the little buckle right there. So cute and adorable. And then I picked up a cloche. This is plastic, so it's not breakable thank heavens because you know how klutzy I am so I picked this up and I'm gonna glue the cloche right on to the boot and then I'm gonna build a Halloween style design inside of the cloche to display it together now I have so many embellishments and all kinds of things to craft for every single excuse me, I have the hiccups <laughs> for every single holiday. But I, once I do it for Halloween and glue it to the boot, I will show you what it's going to look like once it's done. I need a good crafting evening one of these nights before Monday comes so that I can just like unwind and relax. And I can't wait to be able to do that. Then I found this little chiclet right here and she is a fun time. So I turned her upside down and she does have an on and off switch. <laughs> And she is so cute with that cackle. That is a perfect cackle. Now this is motion activated, by the way. I can't turn her off. <laughs> um, this is motion activated, by the way. So if you don't want to walk by this and her to cackle at you like that, every single time you go by, just keep it on the off and then just surprise people behind their head with her cackling when you feel like teasing somebody. <laughs> but I thought she was so cute. She's plastic and I love her. So I grabbed it. Now, okie dokie then. I did now going right from Halloween into Christmas. I found some cute ornaments that I had never discovered in years past. What did I do with the last one? I found it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, this one is from Christmas House. All three actually. And I've never seen this one on the little wood slice which is really, really rustic, cool, cute, and country looking with the reindeer and the baby on it together. So I picked this one up and a lot of times I gift an ornament with a Christmas gift. You know, I just attach it to the packaging of whatever I've situated in a basket or a bag or what have you, or a little wrapped present. And I add a really cute Dollar Tree ornament that never looks like it comes from the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed that one. Then I grabbed this beautiful wonderful Christmas tree right here that I think is so special and beautiful sparkly shimmery and shiny and just such a pretty tree then I picked up 
this beautiful gorgeous little snowflake and I loved the gray metal look to the background I've never seen the one that had this gray metal look I have found the one that's like all like white looking in years past and um, I believe the other one was like a gold type of look to it but I really like the silver so I picked this one up it does have some pointy edges all the way around it so just be careful of that so that you don't nick your fingers if you grab it too hard or something on that end now okie dokie then I found this container right here this storage bin look at the length of this this is fancy and fantastic and wonderful and I'm going to use it in my bathroom on one of my shelves to house all of my toothpastes all of my dental flosses all of my um stock of my toothbrushes from the different packages that I have of them and I'm going to put it in here and then inside um, you just open it like this and it has a decent amount of space in there as well and then you just clip it on each side shut so I mean you could store whatever you want in here but I love the length of this I've never seen a storage container that is this long so I think it will definitely do the trick for how many dental supplies that I do have in my bathroom right now and then I can compile them all into one space and it will work out really well so I'm happy that I found that now okay here we go here we go I got lots of things to show you right to the tail end of this beautiful little moment we're having together and I am so excited for all of these photo albums right here absolutely so excited because I don't know how long you've been here with me but I hope that if you've even been here with me for a short time you know I have a deep fondness for my photography picture taking and my memories you know that come in picture form so I love to gift away personalized little albums to the people that I love for Christmas presents. I've always loved to do it. I share the memories that I've captured on my own camera with them in little in little scrapbooks or photo albums if I can find cute ones that look just like this. And people love it the most because it's so personal to them that they were included in those moments. So I found this beautiful design on this one. This is the special moment brand and this fits 24 four by six photos inside of it so I thought that this was gorgeous wonderful and great and I'm so happy to have so many choices so I can make some really cute picture books plus it's so enjoyable for me to put the albums together to remember all those times that I've spent with that person over the year you know of us you know making memories together this one is really gorgeous and pretty Again, 24 four by sixes inside of each and every single one of these that I am showing you now. Then we have this really fun um, cheetah print, which would be fun if you had like a memory of going, you know, to the zoo or if you have a memory going to a sanctuary and visiting kitties or what have you. I have a friend that loves 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 um wild cats and stuff so I think I'm gonna make her a cute little picture book of all of her favorite kitties in that then right here this beautiful one that has all of these really pretty hearts I just love love absolutely love the hearts so even saving this for um a valentine's day little scrapbook little photo album moment so that you can remember your relationship for the year and gift it away during that time of the love month that's so special and then I love this one which has like an ombre effect of all these different pastel colors going down into one another really just a pretty pretty little photo album um just a few more here we have the floral design on this one really fun groovy cool and cute if you're somebody that had you know memories in the 70s and you have pictures that you can print out and make like a little memorabilia a book from the olden days of having fun in the 70s I think that that's a great print this one as well I think is a great a great style so I picked every single one up that I found because I will definitely use these up for myself and also for gifting purposes and then right here, this beautiful one that has all of the um, greenery on it and the palm leaves and what have you. So great. Maybe even a Halloween, uh, Halloween, ho a Hawaiian vacation in that one or something. That's pretty jazzy fresh and it makes me happy. 
Now, okay, down to the last couple of things here. I found this and no, it's not for me, but I know somebody that's having a baby, so it's going to them. This is that Dapple Baby brand again. This is a breast pump accessory cleaner dye free fragrance free removes tough breast milk residue um cleaning power of uh ox oxygenated vinegar and it dries quickly cleans and deodorizes and it's eight fluid ounces so this is going to the wonderful person that i know that is having a little bambina and i picked it up then I thought that this gifting bag was gorgeous. If somebody for Halloween months um, has a beautiful baby in October or something to put a gift inside of this big old bag for a baby shower, I think that the dragons are beautiful, magical, fun, and it could also be like a Halloween theme type of gifting basket. So I thought that this was beautiful. My son was an October 13th baby, so he... I had, you know, Halloween from right when he entered the world in his life. Um, this is a giant gift bag and this is 36 inches by 44 inches. Um, and it's one bag inside of it. It does come with a tie and a tag. And I just absolutely loved the dragons. I thought that they were so special. And then this right here is going to go with the cleaner that I just showed you. This says, hello, baby. And I thought it was such a pretty style. I love this, uh, the shape, the size of the gift bag. And it's just classic, cool, cute. And I like the border on it and it's glittery. So really pretty. And they had so many other wonderful gift bags as well. So that is it. That is it. Happy Wednesday, Dollar Tree Haul. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you are new here, hi, I'm Callan. I would love to be I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. I am extremely happy and grateful to be here with you, and so thank you for being here with me too. Now, for the last couple of minutes, I will tell you that I announced, um, like a pre-announcement a couple of videos ago at the end of it to let you guys know that we were going to be celebrating some big milestones. We've always celebrated milestones milestones. Every single hundred milestone that we've hit, I've done a giveaway since the channel started. Now, this time around, we're celebrating five of them. So we're celebrating 3,900 milestone, the 4,000 milestone, the 4,100 milestone, the 4,200 milestone, and the 4,300 milestone. So there's five giveaways. On this video right here, right now, all I ask of you is that you are 18 years and older. You have to be subscribed to this channel. Like my videos when you watch them because that's so helpful to me if you do that, if you hit the like button or whatever button you really want to hit because it's your preference. But I would prefer the like button if you enjoy your time here with me. Um, and then just make sure that you leave a comment down below. You never have to write me anything because sometimes people are like, what am I supposed to say? You could leave me an emoji on an emoji. You could just simply say hi so I can see your beautiful names pop up in the thread. And that would make me happy as well. So just do all of those things and then you can enter to win by commenting on this video here and just simply say a hello to me. All you have to do is say hi, hey, hello, um, nice to see you. I don't know, whatever you want to write me down below, but as long as it says hi, hey, or hello, I will take that as an entry to try to win one of the five giveaways, which are going to be separately five different winners and each one of you will win a $10 gift card to the Dollar Tree. And now I will do the drawing, not this next coming week, but the following week, I will announce it as soon as I'm done recovering from my procedure that's happening on October 2nd. So I'm going to need about a week and a half before I actually announce the giveaway winners. So there will be five giveaway winners. Each one will win the $10 gift card to the Dollar Tree. Um, and I will announce it in about a week and a half during one of the videos that I post on either Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday. So just be around, be aware that there may be an announcement during one of my videos in the next week and a half to just to let you guys know who won those giveaways. So that is it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being wonderful. You are the most 
wonderful village that I feel so fortunate to be a part of. And thank you guys so much for growing with me in such a positive, happy, loving, peaceful, and gentle way. And it just makes my life so much better and enriched by having you all here with me. Sorry. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.